you know, I just like to say that um, I feel that my teachings are everywhere and I'm like easily misunderstood, you know, because, you know, I just, all I do is I just share my thoughts and my thoughts change, you know, and um, circumstances change, life's, life situations change and, and it's like I got thousands of videos out there and um, it's going to be hard for people to follow me and understand my expression because I say so many different things. I touch on so many different topics. And um, and sometimes a certain video or a certain idea might be influenced by a certain person or situation. You know, and, and then you got to you know, read between the lines of what I'm truly indicating, you know, but, um, I think the videos are more so to spark ideas from within, you know, to discover the truth within your own life, through your own experiences, um, because I see the positives and negatives of everything. You know, and sometimes I might express the positives of seeing something in a certain way, and then I'll express the negative of seeing it a different way. You know, and these ideas are more creative ideas to kind of get you to see a different perspective. You know. But I see that it's going to be very difficult to grasp the whole of me and understand me because when I think about this, it's almost like that concept of water, you know, that Bruce Lee was talking about. It's like you can't even hold the water in your hand. It just, you know, it's, it will just break through, you know, and I think that's how it is, you know, like what I'm expressing is just something that you just can't contain. It's just something that. It just flows, you know, and you just got to put everything all together, put all the puzzles, all the pieces together and see the whole picture. You know, I think um, what I'm expressing, it's really never going to be consistent, you know, because con consistency um, is something that's dead and it's not real. Uh, what I'm expressing is in the moment, and it just changes, you know, um, based on situations, based on certain circumstances. Um, but a lot of it is also political, um, or situations where I'm kind of forced, you know, to adapt to this business situation where it's like if I criticize anybody out there or a group of people automatically that uh, takes away a segment of my audience and um, could make them feel offended and that hurts my business so then what ends up happening is a lot of people a lot of business people they're known to be fake or sellouts because they're always just promoting everything. And if you just promote everything, then you pretty much have no opinion. And if you have no opinion, and you never have anything negative to say, you neg never have anything to criticize, then how is that even of anything of value? Because it's just predictable. You know, every single style is being promoted. Everything is just great. Every single country is great. Every single religion is great. Every single martial art is great. Everything. Everything is just good. I mean, imagine going on Amazon.com and then every single product gets five stars. <laughs> every single one. None of them 
have one star. None of them have four. None of them have three. None of them any th anybody says anything negative about. Then what's the point of having any ratings if they're all the same? You know, and that's the dilemma that comes to it. Every single business owner out there is when you're being honest, when you're being truthful, it hurts your business. And I've learned that, you know, through time. And that also becomes a factor in affecting how I express myself, you know, publicly. And anytime that becomes a factor, um, it becomes a challenge to educate people upon um, truth because you're not even, a, you'd be basically essentially being punished for being truthful. People are threatening to take away money, take away support for being truthful, you know, and then that becomes a detriment towards people's um, spiritual growth because now, you know, um, the concern is not about helping people grow spiritually or to understand this world or this, themselves to a greater extent. It just becomes, you know, what I'm going to have to do or say in order to um, not have people turn against me. You know, because if I don't want anybody to turn against me, then I need to speak positive about everybody and everything. As soon as I criticize any person or any group of people, then it hurts my business. People don't want to support me. People want to take money away from me. And people want to shut me down. They want to silence me. They want to eliminate me. They want to assassinate me. And then that becomes the detriment, you know, towards helping my audience grow. You know, but negativity is such a powerful energy that, you know, I got to be very careful, you know, with everything that I say. Because I don't know who's watching. And I don't want to be eliminated. I don't want to be assassinated. I don't want to be killed. And I don't want to lose my support and lose my business and lose my audience. So I need to be able to adapt. And through this adaptation, um, it's going to be harder for people to really understand um, you know, my ideas. Because some of it is being honest. And then some of it is just being intelligent. Being smart with how I express myself. You know, and um, it's a mixture, you know, of you know, of both. There's a mixture of business and there's a mixture of my personal ideas. You know, and when you mix things together, then it's hard to decide, like, what is what? What is the business mentality and what is his real thoughts? You know, and, um, and it gets very confusing. It really does. You know, and um, when it boils down to it, you know, you just can't follow a person's words um, without thinking. You need to really um, think for yourself and understand more deeply, you know, the situation and really come upon the understanding through a deep realization of um, the bigger picture, you know. But definitely, you know, I don't think I've met anybody that, that could really understand me. Everybody's going to have a very difficult time understanding me. And um, that's just how it's going to be. You know, so with my art, I, I don't ever see the possibility of it being duplicated. Um, 
because it's just everywhere, you know, and it changes so much that, um, like the water, you know, and just like Bruce Lee would say, just like the water, you know, you just got to be like the water, and you just got to learn to adapt, and flow, and be fluid, not stagnant, but you got to be alive, and um, as long as I live, and as many videos as I create, things will always be changing, my body's going to be changing, my thoughts will be changing, my ideas will be changing, and um, people will have to understand this change. And then when I finally pass away, then things will become dead. Then everything that's been created is of the past. And it's no longer going to be changing with change. So what's going to be important is for you to grasp this truth within yourself in order to continue on with this change, opposed to being stuck in the past into the old ideas that are no longer alive.